Gotcha. Lieutenant Shane Wolf, U.S. Navy. Where's the briefcase? It's right behind you. Man, I'm glad to see you. Those guys, I, I, I never thought I'd see my family again. get you out of here. We're going to do it my way. No highway option. Oh, yeah, no. Totally, absolutely. Doctor says you've healed out real good, Chief. I should have been out of here weeks ago. Look, I know heads are gonna roll for this. Hey, you took a bullet. Yeah, but I want you to know I take full responsibility for what happened to the professor. Palmer was the best security expert the Department of Defense ever had. He was working on a program to scramble launch codes that he called GHOST, a guided high-altitude scrambling transmitter. One pulse from a GHOST satellite, the country can't launch its own nukes. That's why the Serbians kidnapped him. They must have thought that GHOST was in that briefcase. Ghost is still out there, which is why I'm sending you back in. I know you've never lost anybody before, Shane. Hell, I was with your father when he led a platoon of men. With all due respect, I'd appreciate it if we kept my father out of this. All I'm saying is that it happens to the best of them. And you're the best. I need someone I can trust in this. And I know I can trust you. Okay. I'll put a team together. No. It's not that kind of mission. This is at the top of the Pentagon's priority list. Two days ago, I got a call from Admiral Blair. It seems that the professor's widow contacted him. Whoever killed her husband must think that Ghost is still in that house. Now, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. A safety deposit box has been discovered in Zurich in the plumber's name, and I've been assigned to escort Mrs. Plumber there to retrieve the contents. We're hoping it's the ghost program. In the meantime, someone needs to watch over those kids. That's where you come in. While you're there, you'll be looking for the hidden program as well. Kids, 
This is Lieutenant Wolf. He's the man who's going to be staying with you while I'm away. Hi. Hi. Oh, this is Helga and Tyler. Ma'am. Baby. That's a pretty dress. Thank you. I have dates with butchers tonight. I want to look nice. Why stop in guts? You have a pleasant family. Well, for the younger ones, I think it hasn't really sunk in yet. It's been hardest on Zoe and Seth. But they don't really like to talk about it. Well, it must be hard on all of you. Well, Howard wasn't around much. His work took him all over the world. He'd be gone six, seven months at a time. Yeah, I can understand that lifestyle. Anyway, about a week ago, someone broke into the house. No one was home. I didn't tell the kids because I didn't want to scare them. Mrs. Plummer, I dealt with... Oh, oh, my God! I'm sorry. That's Gary. He was Howard's. Gary, down. He bit me. Yeah, well, he thinks he's a guard dog. Mrs. Plummer. Oh, call me Julie, please. Uh, I'm going to go outside and have a look around. Ask you to do. Do it. Mom, chill, we're gonna be fine. I'm sorry, it's just that I don't do this very often. You're only gonna away for a few days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got this. Here. Here you go, okay. I did, baby. Bye. 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 You remember the emergency numbers, right? Don't worry, Mrs. Plumber. Your kids will be safe with me. Your little angels will be fine, Mrs. Plumber. Understands the meaning of the word discipline. Hey, Slipper, you don't like it, do something. I make bottle. <laughs> Thank you, Pete. 
good. We speak English, buddy. Look, about the sirens and the strobe lights, we own a bakery, so we're up kind of early. Would, would you mind? Sorry. Oh, and we found this in our pool filter. Try to keep that zoo reined in, huh, babysitter? Yo, fool, handle me like that again, and I'll be forced to lay knuckles upside your head. Okay, enough is enough. Come on, Scott, let's go. Come on. No, you don't. Get back here. Give me 20. I meant push-ups. So? Drop down, do 20. Okay, this is not the Army or the Navy. Real nice move, Lieutenant Smooth. You'll probably never speak to me. Then I did you a favor. Whoa! Personal bubble invasion. Your mother was worried sick about you. You should call her and tell her the truth. Well, I'm sure you'll take care of that for me. Stay out of my life. Take them off. 
The panic button is for emergencies only. Touch that, you'd better be dying. Or you're dead. I would rather chew off my arm than wear that. Just because my mom is paranoid doesn't mean that we have to take orders from you. Let me explain to you how the chain of command works. I tell you what to do. And you do it! End of chain. I'm not going to have time to remember all of your names. You'll be Red Leader, Red Baby, Red One, Red... Where's the older man? There were five. He walks like Dracula, with footsteps silent like death. He's in his room. Red two! Red two, open up! Red two! trained to do? A shock and on my door? <sighs> hey, I can fix that with a hammer and some nails. It's really easy. No, but... it's not. Look it. It's broken in half. You can't fix that. If you'd been wearing this, this wouldn't have happened. What are you talking about? I was in the bathroom. You know I would never ask you for your help. But he has got to go. Good soldiers aren't scared of anything. <clears throat> I'm not scared, I'm annoyed. Ever since we heard Daddy say there was a ghost in the house, he puts on that blanket and chases me everywhere and drives me crazy. Peter, have you seen this ghost? Okay, here he comes. I have good news. Your background checks have cleared, and we are free to give you the buck. <gasps> Excellent. Just as soon as you provide us with the passwords. Passwords? It was your husband's wish that the person who comes and collects the box must provide us with the passwords. Great. Is it the ghost? Ghost? Mm, no. Don't even think about it. I don't know. We can't walk. 
change of plans. Your mother's not coming home as soon as she expected. When is she coming back? Soon. So for now, we'll just have some more big fun. That's what we've been doing. Having fun. But tomorrow's a school day. I have wrestling practice. I need a signed release for driver's ed. I've got Firefly. I have to go to the mall. There's this new ultra top on sale. I have, I have to, have to get it. Whoa, okay, 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 hold. Yeah, hold. We'll take this hill one inch at a time. Only then can we rise to the challenge. Okay, who's gonna change Red Baby? Guys! Ah! God! Red Baby! Hi. Zoe says you look like the Hulk. I think you're cute. Thank you. Do you do kung fu? Yes. Did you ever punch someone so hard that their head came off? So big? They're not boobs. Do you have to wear a bra? So will my boobs get as big as yours someday? You know, little girl, I think it's time you went. interested in you. Okay, troops. Breakfast. What are you waiting for? Dig in. Feel free to mix and match. Stay away from the cheese and back you up for a month. And don't worry about running out. I can get lots more of these. I've survived months off this stuff. Okay, like, I'm really going to eat all of these carbs. I can cross my eyes. Want to see? No. <laughs> Tyler hates it when I do that. 
I know how he feels. Come a resident. Yes, I know it's Monday today. No, Mrs. Plummer is away. Yes, we'll be right there. Your vice principal. He said that if you and Seth are late again, you're both suspended. He wants to see you in his office right away. It's a minivan. Now, is this supposed to... How do we... Excuse me, Mr. Wolf? If you don't hurry up, we're gonna be late for sure. Not on my watch. How fast is your watch? You'll be suspended for sure. said these kids needed a parole officer. I guess uh, Mrs. Plummer thought so too, huh? Well, you got a real uh, upper torso going on, huh? You ever uh, do any time? Sasquatch. You got something to say, boy? No. No? Okay. Well, looks like you... Uh, have a pair of legs coming out of your shoulders. Do you hit the gym a lot, do you? Huh. Believe me, I'm in. All right, you know what, Creeper? You just bought yourself an extra 15 minutes on the mats with the Merninator. Excuse me. Lieutenant Shane Wolf. I'm watching the kids for the plumbers. He does. Oh, babysitter, huh? Well, good, whatever job you can get, right? I'm Mernie, Dwayne Mernie. My friends call me Little Puppet. I'm the VP here. I'm in charge of discipline, conduct, and truancy from top to bottom, K through 12. You're in my house now, strong man. You're the vice principal and the wrestling coach. See the creeper over there? He has played hooky from every wrestling practice this month. And her, she has missed 22 driver's ed classes. I got 23! These are the worst students in my school. I'm what? ashamed. Good morning, kids. <clears throat> Mr. Marty, thank you so much for watching my chair for me. I'll take it from here. Roger that. Absolutely. I was just uh, informing our new friend here about some of the duties as vice principal. Yes, speaking of which, how's it going with the investigation into the bologna slices in the cafeteria ceiling? Oh, that's been taking some interesting turns. You just keep up the good work. Right. I'll be on the roof. Bye now. All right then, kids. I think it's time to get back to class. I'll cut you some slack today, seeing as it's Lieutenant Wolf's first day. Thank you.
Can I get you some coffee or? Yes, please. So what's with this Merninator? He's big, he's hairy, he's sometimes smelly, but he's harmless and he has tenure. So, you're the bodyguard. Well, Mrs. Plum, I thought the kids needed... She's already briefed me on everything, and she told me that the kids aren't fully aware of the situation, and that's the way she wants it. She also told me you're a team's guy. Yes, I am. Well, Petty Officer 3rd Class Claire Fletcher at your service. You're kidding. Four years at Naval Base Coronado, they paid for college. Honor, courage... Commitment. It's the way I run this school. Hi. So, permission to stick around and keep eyes on the kids? Permission granted. Anyway, it's kind of good for the creeper. Gives him the chill stuff. Punk up. Learn to defend himself. Six against one? Well, you know, the odds are never pretty. But look at it as like a preparation for him. You know, the naked streets of Bethesda could be so dark and dangerous. Right, creeper? Whoa. You're pretty quick there, frog man. I myself happen to be a black belt. That's why they wanted me to be the coach of the wrestling team. What? You know what that's called, homeboy? Total control. Yeah, right? Hmm? Tell you what, maybe sometime you can pop by the wrestling class and uh, we'll show the boys how a couple pros do it. What do you think? I'll go easy on you. I'm on duty. You're on duty? Oh, that's right. That's right, you're a babysitter. So it's kind of like doo doo duty. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We'll do it on a day when you're not uh, washing your hair. And I'll see you in class. That guy don't have his head on right. I, I was fine. I don't need your help. Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> hey, rough day? I tried feeding him. Yeah, did you try changing him? Would you help me? No. <laughs> Just a thought of it.
go. Okay, just call me, you guys, if you need anything. Where's on the fridge? Are you okay? Oh. Wow. <laughs> Is there anything I can do? I'm okay. Okay. Can I get you anything? I'm fine. I mean, they're just kids, you know. Call me if you need anything, okay? After you shower or before. It doesn't matter. Okay, I'll see you guys. <gasps> See you in the family room. Who are those people? My troop. It's Monday. Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday are troop nights. All right, get rid of them. I can't. Everyone's parents go out on troop nights and they won't be back till eight. Mom's our gen mother. You better tell your little friends that they have. <laughs> to sell cookies. I don't do cookies. We have to. If we don't sell enough cookies, we can't go to the Jamboree. They're waving at me. All right, ladies. Here's how it's going to be. Tonight, I'm your den mother. That means if you want to live to see tomorrow, you do exactly as I say. Do we understand each other? Then, Mother, you're frightening me. Good. Now, let's move out. Cookies. Broke your cookies. Mm hmm. Lulu, this is not a toy. Forget those boards. I am here to protect you, not cookies. Mm hmm. 
Understand? Good. Now get in the car. We're all going home. Wait, you can't take us home yet. They're supposed to take us to get something to eat. Where do you usually go? Welcome to Woody Woodchucks! your brother. Inexcusable. I've never left a man behind. Oh, relax. Once we found a kid in the bar pool when we opened in the morning. Whoa, whoa. Not cool. Uh, there is no freestyling in the ball pool. Get cleaning. I'm out of here. Loser. Now I'm going to be the school joke. I don't even know what I'm going to say to my friends. You call those people your friends? They have no respect for you. They have no respect for your home. You have no respect for yourself. I do too respect myself. Company downstairs, and that means you too. You're not my dad. In case you haven't noticed, this family is going through a really hard time, and you're just making everything a lot worse. You have no feelings. We hate you, and you hate us. So why don't you just leave us alone? Don't worry, when your mom comes back, I'm gone. Now what? Scott. <laughs> Run, take the 
babies, go to your rooms. <laughs> It's safe. Who was that? What did they want? What happened? Please don't leave us, Shane. What did they want? They were after the program that your father invented. They were after this. All right, all right. Come on, guys. Let's hope this is it. Blockbuster. Tell her Rita Miller. Rita Miller. Didn't they have you sign a card? So there really are people out there to get us. Yes, there are, Zoe. That's why I'm here. I think we're going to need a little more cooperation. From now on, you listen to me, and I'll listen to you too. Deal? Relax. Relax. If you just relax, Okay, so she wrecked the driver's head car. The insurance will pay for it. They were parallel parking. The instructor jumped from the car. But it's not about her, it's about the boy. Has he been skipping class again? Skipping class? He, he, he always skips sixth period, but this is... Uh, all right. Seth! Okay, take off the hat. Okay. Look at that. That's how we showed up for practice today. And that's not all. I was doing a little recon in his locker, and I found this. Okay? Uh, now, if it was a girly magazine or, or a hamster, fine. Boys will be boys. But this is sick. All right, he died this here. He's not a Nazi. This is not normal. We're very concerned. All right, kids, why don't you go back to class? Mr. Murray, would you give me a minute? I'm sure this is about their father. We've tried to get Seth and Zoe to talk to the school psychologist, but they won't. 
Maybe you can get through to them? See what's going on? Oh, I'll talk to them and see what I can do. Thanks. Seth! I don't understand unless you explain it to me. Why would you join the wrestling team, Dave? I did because my father wanted me to. Look, I know you're just trying to help, but don't. I can take care of myself. clicks of the perimeter, signal me. Keep all doors sealed, do your homework, preheat the oven, and don't let Lulu in the cookie jar. A week, people. The set isn't finished. Mother Robbins just quit because she got shingles. And every step ball change would make Bob Fosse rise from the grave. Just so we can have a heart attack again. I'm really sorry. Get it right. No, you won't, Seth. You and your mother over here can't get it right. And I know this because I am a professional. I directed Showboat with Greg Brady. It wasn't Union, but it was good. <laughs> Obviously, I quit. Exeunt, stage right. Seriously, Seth? If you drop me again, I'm going to kill you. Hey! Are you okay? I'm fine. Come on. I'm not gonna quit. I don't expect you to understand me. I may not understand a whole hell of a lot about this kind of stuff, but I definitely understand not quitting. And from what I see, you're pretty good. With a little discipline, you can make a go of this. 
But what about Mernie? What about Mernie is that all talk Spanish. So the sound of music, I saw it when I was a kid. Really? The idea of a nun ditching a habit for a guy in the military. Nothing wrong with that. Do you think girls will think I'm weird? I think they probably already do, Seth. But you'll kill them later. Come here. Forget about everyone else for a second. Is performing what makes you happy? Yeah, more than anything. I ain't falling. Company! Center stage! Company! Center stage! Now, do you or do you not have what it takes to perform this musical? We don't have a director. I've directed rescue missions all around the world. I've directed numerous snatch and grabs from countries whose names you were not allowed to know. I've choreographed multi-pronged amphibious landings and stealth air attacks. Do you think I have the military proficiency to direct this production? Yes. Yes, what? Yes, yes sir. sir! Once upon a time, there was a family of elves. And one day, the little elf family went into the magic forest to find a secret gnome facility where the gnomes were turning mushrooms into uranium. So three elves laid down heavy suppressive fire on the gnomes while the others maneuvered around to the right flank, finishing off anything left alive. <sighs> Not one of those elves were left behind that day. We got them all. Even the teeniest, littlest elf of all, Rodriguez. You're going to have to do the panda dance or you won't stop. Oh, come on. I'll write it down for you. Close your eyes, go to sleep. I'll be right back. You gotta do the dance. Like Dad used to do. He made it up for him. You have to do the dance to make him sleep. Come on. When you're down and low, lower than the floor, and you think that you ain't got a chance. Boom, boom. Don't make a move till you're in the groove. Lolo. Seth. Zoe. Oh, today you drive. But I can't even pass driver's ed. Exactly. We're all gonna die. Have you ever given a driving lesson before? In a minivan? No. But think of it like a Bradley assault vehicle. Yeah, especially when Zoe's driving. <laughs> Zoe Plummer! Zoe, what are you doing? What are you doing? Slow down! Dad. Land! Oh, land. I 
think it went well. Oh, it's so dramatic. Uh. Hey, 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 no fighting. Only nice. Hi. How are you? I wanted to tell you I have noticed an improvement in the plumber kids, and I'm, I'm very impressed. Yeah, you know, they're just misunderstood. Peter, careful! Don't make me come up there. Someone just needs to take the time to talk to him. Sounds like you're getting a little attached. I take my job very seriously. Uh -huh. But it's like you said, they're just kids. Wow. Keep up the good work. <laughs> oh. You look very nice today. Thanks. <laughs> okay. If I, if I caught the kid dancing under the bleachers to no music, I want him out of my class. Somebody's got to give this punk a talking to. Seth? Well, you got something to say? Twinkle toes? Yeah. Yeah, I do, Mernie. I quit. You quit. You know why you quit? Because you're a quitter. And everybody knows that quitters quit. What are you scared of, huh, Prancer? I'm not scared. I want to act. And I want to take up origami. I'm in the sound of music. A musical. So you're giving up wrestling to be being a musical. You see, that's what happens when there isn't a man in the house. There is a man in the house. It's me. <laughs> well, it's, it's got to be a tiny house. <laughs> you think you're a tough boy, don't you? Hmm? Want to shave the tiger? Do you? Huh? You want it tough? Where'd you want to do this? What are you talking about, babysitter? You said you wanted to wrestle. Where? When? After school. Okay. Today? That's right. The gym. Remember, you mess with the bull, you get the horns. <laughs> Favorite. 
the pacifier. <laughs> Anything you didn't understand? Ah, the nipple crippler. This is a useless, not to mention shameless move that ultimately is a sure sign of desperation. <laughs> Just hop three times like a kangaroo. Sidestep twice just like the crabs do. Three steps forward, one step back. Quick like a turtle. Lie on your back. Roll like a log till you can't roll no more. <laughs> Better jump quick like there ain't no floor. Hold your breath, jump to the left, and that's the Peter, I swear that's the Peter, that's the Peter Panda dance. <laughs> Again, <laughs> you're going to sleep. Good night, Peter Panda. Good night, Daddy. What are you putting in a jar and shake till they're dead? Fireflies? 
go away and he won't hurt you. Security. Well, I am sorry, sir, but none of these answers ring true. Howard, I'm so stupid. Is it my angel? Yes, it is indeed. <laughs> Zoe, a rookie sniper could drop you like it did. Good. Good? All right, this is about Scott again. No, it's, it's not. You're right about him. I'm a stupid guy. So what's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. You know, when I was little, my mom left. My dad was a spec op soldier like me. When I was eight, he shipped me off to military school. He like being a soldier more than he liked being a dad. One day I get a letter, no more dad. It's terrible. The thing is, for a long time, I thought that if I talked about it, I was letting him down. Like I was supposed to be brave or something. Your dad, so I do miss him so much. 
I don't know, I just don't want to be strong for Lulu and Tyler and Peter and Seth and my mom. You're such a good burden to carry. Got stuff. news. I think I found Ghost. Do you have it? No, it's in a steel vault. It needs some sort of two-prong key. I've been working on it all night, but it's tough. Great. Good work, Shane. We're on our way to the airport. Don't do anything further. I'll be there soon. Yes, sir. Ready? The good news is... Once I give this to my CO, whoever's been bothering you ain't gonna be bothering you anymore. Really? Really. What's wrong, Lolo? Your mother's coming home. You should be happy. But, Shane, doesn't that mean you have to go? You guys should go upstairs and get ready. Your mother will be home soon. Welcome home, Mom. Glory. I am so proud of you. 
I truly am. I am going to give you your choice of assignment anywhere you want to go. You just name it. Yes. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. But I have to think about it. You're going to have to think about it. Well, the military is all I've ever known. I've no regrets. I should hope not. It's just that being with this family, I've never had a family. So. Put your hands up! Chums? Well, you gotta be kidding me, Bill. I swear to God, I checked them out. Give us the key. Put your hands up! Okay. All right. Now! <laughs> us ghost months ago. Oh, I'm sorry, there were delays. Shit! Stop talking. She's not going to be babysitting anymore. I trusted you. Howard trusted you. You've betrayed us, and you've betrayed this country. Guess what? North Korea pays better. John! Watch them, they're squirming. You two, come with me. You guys run and get help. Hurry. Are you sure you're going to be okay? Yes, Lulu. Go. Get help. Hold on. I'll be in it. They're heading for the car. Lulu, call 911. Oh, my God. I forgot my cell phone. Great. You'll 
only time you actually don't have your cell phone. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> struck again. I accept total responsibility. My intelligence, well, it just, it was faulty. If I had better resources. I told you not to pass her in driver's ed. You have exactly three seconds to get me through this minefield. One, two... Bill! She doesn't know. And you're not taking another parent away from those kids. Now leave the family alone and I'll get you in. You better not be bluffing. Zoe! Seth, Lulu, Peter, Tyler. It's a code I saw Mr. Plummer use it to open the briefcase. You think this is a game? Code or no code? Open it. Now. You can't make him do this. I know Howard. You haven't got a chance.
You open it. Come on. I walk the floor first. No way. You can do it, soldier man. <laughs> Just a duck. Where's the ghost? I have it here. Bring it here. Put it on the ground. Okay, duck whisperer. Step away. be taken off now, huh? Seeing as there's no reason to stick around anymore. I'm still here, aren't I? Hmm. Yeah. What now? I don't know. Uh, I'm on dry land. True. Which means you're the superior officer. Excuse me, ma'am. Could I have a few words with you, please? Sure. Well, we, I, you know. Oh. I'll talk later. Mission accomplished, soldier. I suppose it is. Guess you'll be leaving us now. I guess so. I want you to have this.
because I don't want you ever to forget me. I will never forget you. Because you're the best friend I ever had. No matter how far a long life takes me away, I will always be thinking about you. I love you, Shane. I love you, too. Your father would be so proud of all of you. Oh, look who just woke up. Shane? Yes? Are you ever going to see you again? What are you talking about? We still have one more mission. You are 16, going on 17, baby. It's time to think Better beware, be canny and careful Baby, you're on the brink You are 16, going on 17 Fellows will fall in line Eager young lads will throw away the cat will offer you food and wine Mama. So? Hmm. Maybe you should take over the drama department instead of the wrestling team. <laughs> it's gonna be nice having you around now. Now that Mernie's found his true calling. It's gonna be my pleasure serving with you.